Hi there. In this diagram short, we're going to take you through the analysis of what happens to a firm if there's an outward shift of their average and marginal revenue curves. Here's our starting point, a firm with a downward sloping AR and MR curve. And initially, it's at the profit maximizing output when marginal cost meets marginal revenue. It can charge a price P1. The unit cost is C1. And you can see the firm is making economic profits. So what happens if there's an outward shift in conditions of demand? For example, there might have been an increase in the price of a substitute product or perhaps a rise in the, the real income of consumers. Well, if there's a shift in demand, the average revenue curve shifts from AR1 to AR2 and marginal revenue also shifts as well. So now we have a new set of revenue curves. We're going to assume that costs remain the same. There's no change in cost conditions. As a result, there's now a new profit maximizing output where MR2 meets the marginal cost curve. That gives us a higher output Q2, and it also allows the firm to charge a higher price P2. As a result, assuming we draw in the cost curve here, the cost curve C2 is not different, really much different to C1, but I've now shown C2 as the cost curve at output Q2. So now we have a situation where the firm is producing Q2, it costs C2 per unit, they're charging P2 as the price, and hopefully you can now see that the level of profit in the market is much higher than it was before. This area, shaded orange, is the higher level of supernormal profits after the outward shift of the revenue curves. So just to summarise, if there's an outward shift of demand, the profit maximising price goes up, so too there's the profit maximising output, and assuming costs remain the same, uh, the total profit of the business will also increase. That's been a diagram short showing the effect of an outward shift in the revenue curves.